I am so pleased to have author Eunice Brewer Trotter on the show today to tell us the story behind her story, the new book, Black in Indiana. Good morning, Eunice. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. So Thank let the you. audience know what they're going to be reading when they open your wonderful book. Well, you're going to be you're going to be reading a different version of some old history. <laughs> and this uh, version is written from my perspective uh, with the research that I have done as a result of uh, my family's ties to that neck of the woods. My, my family is from Knox County. And also there, there are many, many family members who lived in, in Evansville as well. And it's going to tell you about some history you did not learn in school. You've heard about slavery, you know that it existed. But what we've been taught always is that slavery did not exist in the North. And Indiana is considered, of course, a Northern state. However, slavery was practiced in Indiana. And it was practiced into the 30s and 40s under the guise called indentured servitude. Now, in school, we learned that indentured servitude was a method by which uh, young people came from Europe and had their passage paid and uh, they arrived in this country and worked for a few years to, you know, pay for the cost of their passage. But the indentured servitude for African Americans lasted 30, 60, 90 years. And most importantly, they had no choice. If they did not agree in a contract to indentured servitude, they were taken south and sold into slavery, the more harsher form of slavery. Not to say that the indentured servitude form practiced in Indiana was any different than that harsher form of slavery. Well, you just, this is, you know, we hear so much now about telling black history from a black person's perspective and revealing that and so that that sounds like what the goal of your book is to to let people know that the stories we've heard are only a piece of the story even if true well exactly now in in knox county indentured servitude and slavery were practiced by the highest officials in the land including the man for whom Vandenberg County is named. Um, it, it was just a way of life. And it was practiced uh, as a means to provide uh, labor for, for many, many, many projects, particularly agricultural and construction projects. It was slaves and indentured servants who built grassland, for example. And I'm sure there was some of that labor used in, in many of the major projects there. But more importantly, this book is a um, his, historical fiction, meaning I was able to use my creative license, so to speak, to, to embellish a bit and give voice to the people who lived you know, there at that time. And it, this tells about family interactions as well as, you know, the legal ramifications. It goes into the court case. It goes into masonry. The person who held my own great, great, great grandmother for whom um, this book is dedicated and, and actually written um, was one of the highest officials in the nation. Oh, his name was General Washington Johnston. And... Um, he held the indenture contract for my uh, great, great, great grandmother. And if you look in the books, uh, you'll see historically that he is a great man. He was a judge, you know, he was a surveyor. He held, he was a legislator. Uh, he held many, many important positions. Today, there is a huge monument in his honor at the Green Lawn Cemetery in, in Vincennes. And so, yeah, he was a nice guy. <laughs> and he was an important figure, but he was also a slaveholder. And that's the kind of truths I think that as a nation we have to come to terms with so uh, true. in order to have peace, in order to make progress in this nation, and in order to be that one, that whole that, you know, so many of us strive to, to be. 
Eunice, I want you to come and visit me here in the studio because I have so many more questions and we are out of time. Black in Indiana, get your copy. Eunice Brewer Trotter, thank you for being here.